another one. I am not making enough to survive. Advice. I'm afraid it will never, ever change. I'm a 27-year-old female recently married. I should be so happy and I am so sad. I have a master's degree and a job that pays $21 an hour. It's hard to say if I'll make more here anytime soon. My husband is working preload for UPS and then as a driver helper. This is temporary until he can find something better and the hourly is as much as I make. So, I mean, collectively, you guys make $42 an hour. So, I mean, you know, to start, we own, we also own a bike shop. I did not see that coming. All right. But new bike sales have dwindled severely post pandemic, which is why my husband is looking for other work and is part time now. However, our paychecks don't even count. All of our money immediately goes to a car payment, gas, groceries. We are very frugal. Bills and student loans. Well, I don't know if it's frugal if you have if your money is going everywhere else and you might just be hungry. You might just be hungry. Anyhow, I have no ability to save for anything. I feel like at 27, I should be at least, I should at least be capable of saving. I think all the time about how I could be making more money on the side, but nothing ever seems to work. It will work. Nothing ever seems. Well, hold on a second. I think all the time about how I could be making more money on the side, but nothing ever seems like it will work without me completely overworking myself. Well. You might also be lazy. I'm a certified personal trainer, but the why where I train clients will only pay me $13.50 an hour for about four hours a week. It doesn't even feel worth my time to go to my time to go private would mean having extra insurance and a gym to train from, which I don't have the capital for. I feel like I did all the right things, went to school, got an extra degree, an extra degree, and have nothing to show for it. I remember a, a song by Scarface with the Ghetto Boys, which said, um, actually it was by Willie D. It said, um, you have nothing to show for it. That was, a, that was one of my favorite songs, actually. Anyways, I digress. I want a home so badly, and I don't ever see it happening. My husband can't have kids without medical assistant even though we both want them and i don't ever see being able to afford that either well not everyone should have kids especially if you can't afford it then you probably shouldn't have kids just so it's a numbers game here okay people all right i spend my nights lying awake worrying about paying our bills and how i can whittle our grocery list all I do is work, it feels like, and I never have anything to show for it. I don't know how to dig myself out. I think I have marketable skills, background in journalism, journalism. and a master's in nutrition. I've applied to many remote part-time copy editing jobs with no luck. Figures? Any suggestions or leads? I've applied to higher paying jobs, but most want more experience. I have nearly three years in nutrition, education, and two in writing. Well, let's get the show on the road, DJ. All right. And by DJ, I meant like this jockey, not Don. Anyways, so why do I, why am I so harsh? Well, not only because it's our last question of the show, but this one line right here, right? This one line. Oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It says, I feel, 
I feel like I did all the right things. I went to school, got an extra degree, and have absolutely not nothing, not a zilch, nada to show for it. Well, that is because if you do everything right and you have nothing and you have nothing to show for it, then you probably didn't do everything right. I am a very practical, pragmatic person, numbers game, and I do automation, I do jujitsu, and it's like always tinkering, always trying to figure things out, right? So I think we just spoke about this, right? We just spoke about it. Oh my God. So all of our money immediately goes to car payments, gas, groceries, bills, and student loans, right? Um, you're Okay, I know you're hungry, right? But why, if you're broke, Let's start very practical. Why, if you're broke, do you have a car payment? Right? Get a hoopty. Get scooters. I remember earlier this year, I went to Costco and I got those little electric bikes for, I think they were like 400, 400 bucks on sale, something like that. 350 actually, or 350, right? Get one of those electric bikes. Take public transportation, take your little electric bike with you, and go from there, right? Why are you required to have a car payment when you're broke? Just charge up your car, or ch charge up your bike, right? Or your scooter or something, right? And then student loans for your master's degree for a job that pays $21 an hour. <laughs> one, of, one of the uh, group chats that I'm in, right? And um, one, of my, one of my people, they were like, oh yeah, uh, this part-time job is paying um, $20 an hour. I'm like, $20 an hour? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, that sounds pretty low for our age, right? which we are much older than 27, but I'm like, that sounds pretty low for our age. And one of them was like, oh, that's pretty good for our part-time. And I was like, oh, get behind me, Satan, right? I, I, our priorities are so messed up, right? Are like, I was, I was just talking about that in the previous question, like, or two questions ago, right? We don't plan our future. We just wing it. We just wing it and we just hope whatever the spaghetti we throw at the wall is going to stick, right? We treat our lives as a game. Like, we are, we are so much more invested in our fake video game lives than we are in our real lives, right? That we would go and we would put ourselves in tons and tons of debt. We'll buy a car that we can't afford to put gas in the car to go places that we shouldn't be going to. And then we have to starve because we have to be frugal on groceries. Why, why aren't you frugal with your car payments, with your gas, with your bills, with your student loans, right? And I can only imagine the amount of student loans that you have to pay for a master's in journalism and nutrition and all that type of stuff, right? Do we not have anybody that we can speak to before we make these decisions? We are so messed up. I remember like over the summer trying to coach these, 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 these two young men, right? One 13, one 15, or no, one 14, one 17, or turning 17, some, some nonsense like that, right? And I'm like, you guys are at the prime age where... You guys, like, you can learn something so that when you do go to college, like, you can actually be ready to start working and, like, be working while in college and start making a bunch of money, right? Start developing your own things, your own applications, and stuff like that, right? But they want to go to the NBA.
They don't want to put in the work in. They, they don't even want to practice for, for basketball at that, right? But they want to go to the NBA. I dropped them like a sack of potatoes. But you guys probably noticed, right? You don't see Melissa in the chat as much because she is working. I speak to her just about every single day, but she is working, right? 17, finishing high school, right? In, a, in another country, right? Learning, like, learning web development, learning UI, UX, asking me questions about Python, creating props, showing to her, to her, to her teacher, to her professor, saying, oh, um, like, test out this software that I'm creating, like, this basic stuff, right? But at, a, as, at 17 years old, right? And listening to uh, 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 a live stream the other day, and someone was saying, oh, you know, um, because... Our people are at a you know disadvantage and stuff like that because um, the other people um, they uh, like. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe so button to tap Coach Ralph of, to be notified ahead, for right? new videos. But I just gave you an example of one 17 year old young lady, right, who is working tirelessly, going to sleep at like maybe two o'clock in the morning, waking up early, learning Python, learning UI, UI UX. Learning, um, learning um, Python, right? Still getting good grades in school, right? Speaks four languages, four languages, right? But in another country, right? But we have two brothers, two young men here who I'm like trying to push them, trying to push them, don't want to put in any effort. Want to go to the NBA, where there's only 450 people who make it there. Is it that we are at a disadvantage, or we don't work as hard as some other people do? We have hoop dreams. When you have people like me, like Don, like Andrew, who want to help, right? But the parents don't push the kids in the right direction. And then we want to compare ourselves to other people who might push their kids in a better direction. But I think it's just a poor mentality that a certain, like, you know, class of people have. Because I even see it in adults, right? Like, don't get me wrong. It's not only kids. Adults are the same way. You'll, you'll say, hey, this is the plan. This is where, like, you come to me and you tell me this is where you want to get to, right? This is where you want to get to. This is the plan. And I say, okay, let me, let me help you get the blueprint. This is the work that we're going to have to do. It's going uh, to be a lot. You are already way far behind. We need to get you caught up. And then we start working, 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 and then boom, you're, you're gone. You have other priorities. See, I am 100% committed to the work. Wake up early, go to sleep late. Always strategizing, right? Me and Don, we came up with something. Like we were talking over the weekend. Oh, think about this idea. Oh, how can we build this? Boom, two days later, ready to roll. Right? We work. Because we have places that we want to be. But you come into our industry and you're like, oh, I need some help and I need to do this, I need to do that. And, and we're like, all right, this is the plan. And then you're like, oh, nope. What, what the hell do you have better to do? Like you say you want this. You spent 10, 20K. And then when we actually give you the work to do, it's too hard. It's too much. And then you want to make it in the field? You want to make it in tech? Going back to the question, right? You're a certified personal trainer at the YMCA. Making $13.50 an hour for four hours a week.
it doesn't feel worth your time. Well, maybe you should check out the time value calculator, right? Your time currently has no value. Your time, like, your time doesn't have any value right now. Your, your, your hourly worth, from a practical point of view, is like maybe $2. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. Let's do the math real quick. So you're making uh, $21 an hour. Where's my calculator? Typically, I don't share the screen. I, I can take this off the screen. Typically, I don't share the screen on a Tuesday night, but we're going to do this real quick, right? So let's go to, let's go here, right? So $21 an hour. Let's say 80 for two weeks times 26, right? We're at $43,000 a year, right? I need to make it even more accurate, right? 43,680, right? Forty-three, six hundred eighty, right? An hour of your time is worth $4.99. How did I come to this calculation? I take the total amount that you make per year, divided by 8,760 hours in a year. I got this formula from my second favorite content creator, Anton Daniels. All right? A minute of your time is worth $0.08. Cents. A second of your time is worth 0 0.001 cents. So, for you to be talking about it's not even worth your time, right now your time is worth $4.99 an hour. But then to go private would mean to have extra insurance and a gym to train from. Well, that means you, what's the name of that gym? Um, the purple one, Planet Fitness, 10 bucks a month. Um, UFIT, 10 bucks a month, right? That's $120 a year plus the whatever yearly maintenance fee, whatever, right? Insurance. You don't even want to invest in yourself, right? But, 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 you feel like you did all the right things. Uh? Went to school, got an extra useless degree, and have nothing to show for it. And then, and then, you want a home so, so badly. <laughs> Why do you want a home? Why? You could, like, when I was broke, when I was hungry, the last thing that was ever on my mind was owning a home. I wanted food. The last thing that was on my mind was kids. At this point, you need to, instead of, <laughs> instead of spending your night lying awake, worrying about how you're going to pay your bills, spend your nights awake, going through your demi, learning something, like learning some technical stuff, maybe pick up how to develop websites, maybe pick up how to build, like how to build Android applications, learn something 
that's going to add value into the world, right? Learn how to build things, how to develop, how to, how to do something, right? Because nowadays with like, with personal training and stuff, there's, there's Apple watches for that. There's Fitbit for that. There's whatever online that you can find, right? You can go on ChatGPT and say, ChatGPT, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I need, all right, so let's do this, right? So let's close the bar and let's share this twice in one. Go to ChatGPT, right? And we're going to say, I need a workout and nutrition plan to build muscle and lose, lose weight. I am 50 pounds overweight. Let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Did that. Your, um, your nutrition license and your personal training all in five seconds. Workout plan, strength training, example workout, cardiovascular exercise, cardiovascular routine, and then the nutrition plan, calor caloric deficit, Macronutrient distribution, protein, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Limited processed foods, hydrate and drink plenty of water, meal timing. Uh, this is probably bad advice, but um, nonetheless, consistency is the key, results. And then imagine if there's some app that can motivate you, but maybe David Goggins or something like that, that can tell you, like, get to work, stop being a beep, right? So, Instead of lying awake at night, crying, worrying, go learn something. Udemy just had their um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, and it's probably still on sale right now, probably on sale for the week, right? Get rid of your car. You won't have gas payment. You won't have to pay insurance. And if you're making payments, you're probably have, you have to have full coverage right? Put yourself in a better position to win. There's no, like, there's no room for enjoying life right now. You're going to have to actually struggle to get to the other side of where you want to be. All right? It's the cold, hard truth. But a lot of times, that's what we need. Because Because you either win with us or you watch us win. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.